you guys are still here. <laughs> oh, they did a wonderful job today. Thank you. Uh, I can tell you that there was so much fire today. So we want to thank God. You know, the worship ministry is the most important ministry in the church and is also the most dangerous ministry in the church. Also because you have a competition, none other than Mr. Lucifer himself. But worship is something we give to a perfect God. That means we cannot give a crippled sacrifice. So a perfect God requires a perfect people to worship Him. And because of the nature of the perfection, He deserves the perfect praise to be continually given to Him. So what do you do when we are humans that err so much? That means the only way we can worship Him is if we stand under the blood of Jesus. So it, ha it has to be either perfection or a group of people that has been continuously being perfected. So no, 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 no. You can't, you can't use secular songs to worship this holy God. Ah, that's not possible. Because our God that we serve is a holy God. The only way we can worship Him is if we are allowed into the holy place. If we are allowed to the most holy place and the only way we can walk into that holy place is if we are washed by the blood of Jesus. So no secular artist, no matter how talented they are, no secular music, no matter how beautiful the tune is, can enter into the holy place because that which is not born of God cannot worship God. <sighs> it's such a dangerous ministry you have because what we need to remember is Lucifer was kicked out of heaven just for a thought because you are accountable for a thought how much more for what song you listen to or what song you bring to the king of kings it cannot be that which is adulterated by the world it cannot be it cannot be ah. the problem with Cain was not that he bought a bad offering the problem with Cain was he knew that this was not going to be approved and that is why God came to him and said, you know that if you did well, you would have been accepted. So that means that when he brought the sacrifice, he knew this was a substandard sacrifice and yet he brought that. So that means that some songs, it may be even be written by Christian writers, but your spiritual maturity should be able to sense and say, at this level of my spirituality, I can't just sing anything and everything to the King of Kings. Because worship is not a performance. I was sitting there and I was telling the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't want to go up. I can stand here and just enjoy what you're doing in this ministry. It's so precious, it's so holy, it's so unique. And, and, and everything in me was like, oh, oh, wow, I get to be here. Because what God is doing is so awesome. The world cannot enter the worship. We don't imitate the world, the world imitates us. The Bible is clear, you will not become like them, they will become like. So God was so picky about the songs, so picky about the worship that he said, I want to set apart an entire tribe, Levites, just for this purpose of worshipping me. That is how important and consecrated is our worship to the Lord. So we take worship to the Lord seriously and refuse to, uh, to allow the world to corrupt 
the integrity of it. So one more time. You're doing well. Keep going, okay? God bless you guys. Thank you. Enjoy the service. Thank you so much. Let's appreciate it. Please.